The rapid production decline in shell wells has prompted a new movement towards refracturing depleted or low producers. Over time, most horizontal wells will produce at a fraction of their initial rates, and large volumes of oil and gas will remain trapped within the rock, which may now be extracted through refracturing. The cost is between a quarter and half of what it would cost to drill and complete a new well. This video shows how to model a multi-stage fractured horizontal well which has been refracted. The options demonstrated in this video are available under numerical analysis in Sapphire, Topaz, and Ruby. In this video, we show only the workflow in Ruby. We start with the document where we have already defined the reservoir, PVD properties, and the multi frac horizontal well geometry. Under the Map tab, double-clicking on the well shows the well properties. Microseismic data have already been loaded for the well. We can view the loaded data using the Microseismic icon as shown. The Microseismic option is available only to members of the Kappa Unconventional Resources Consortium. The Microseismic data clearly shows that most of the frac job went to the toe of the horizontal well and missed the area closer to the heel. So in this case, we have adjusted the complex frac geometry to honor the microseismic data, and we added a few more fracs closer to the heel, which will be contributing after the refrac after three years. To modify the perforation, the Edit Perforation option is selected, and the existing perforation length is adjusted to cover the new fracs closer to the heel of the well, which will contribute after three years. To create a second perforation, we enable the New Perforation option, place a perforation closer to the toe of the well, and adjust the length of the perforation to cover the existing fracs. Next, we click on the Time Dependent option and move to the Perforation Closing Intervals tab. For each perforation, we can define time of opening and closing. This can be done repeatedly. The time may be specified as elapsed or absolute as shown. For this case, we keep perforation 2, the original fracs, open at all times. As there is obviously no refract job in the first instance, perforation 1 remains closed at the outset. We return to the Run tab and click on Simulate to forecast the model based on a constant bottom hole pressure for 20 years. Once the simulation is complete, we can maximize the 3D plot and play back the pressure field. We observe that, as expected, only the fractures at the toe of the well are depleting the reservoir. Now we create a new run and call it Refrac. This is a copy of the first run, except this time we will allow Perforation 1 to contribute after three years. Following the same process as we did for the first run, we go to the Map tab. We double-click on the well to show the well properties, select Time Dependent, and under Perforation Closing Intervals, we add a perforation opening event for Perforation 1 and set a time of 3 years as shown. After 3 years, Perforation 1 will start to produce. We validate by clicking on OK. Returning to the Run tab, we rerun the simulation. Once the simulation is complete, maximize the 3D plot and it can adjust the grid opacity to observe the fracs. And again, play back the pressure field one step at a time. After three years, we observe that the other fracs also start to contribute. We restore the 3D plot and maximize the well results plot and display only the cumulative gas production as shown. We go back to the previous run and repeat the same process on the well results plot. Now that the well results plot in the two analysis display the same channel, we can use the Compare option to compare the EURs of these two cases. We can see that after three years, the EUR starts to increase post refract.
The last run tab shows that we can replicate the scenario and add additional fracs in between the existing original fracs and assign the perforation closing and opening times accordingly. This concludes this video on the refrac option in Kappa Workstation.